Okay, guys, sorry. I wanted to add something to the video um, for my two weeks post exosome update. I forgot one thing that I kind of thought was pretty important to mention. Um, and this was something that it's only happened a couple of times um, where I've actually had an elevated temperature. So um, again, I can't say 100% it's the exosomes um, or maybe the lack of IVIG, but I did notice um, a couple of evenings this past week. I um, like one day I wasn't feeling too great, like my head was kind of hurting a little bit and I felt hot. And so I took my temperature and it was like 99.5. And then after a few hours, it seemed to kind of normalize. And then I think a couple days later, I didn't feel too bad, but I felt hot again. And I took my temperature and it was around 99. So I don't know if that's also a possible side effect of exosomes um, or, or something that is just happening to me because I am not on IVIG or, you know, it's kind of stressing my body. But I forgot to add that to my list. And I thought that that was something... Um, pretty important or a very interesting observation at least. Um, so if if you have had that with your exosomes treatment, um, leave it down in the comments and let me know. Um, but yeah, it wasn't anything like, you know, I, I mean, I don't even know if 100 degrees is, I'm sorry, if 99 is an actual fever. I felt like 99.5 was something a little bit more significant, but um, I wasn't feeling too horrible. Just you know, one time had the headache and just feeling hot. So um, that's another thing I guess to watch out for, but it wasn't anything. I wasn't like incapacitated or anything like that. So I just thought that I would add that and throw this on the exosomes playlist just so you guys know in case you do the treatment and, you know, you start having um, elevated temperatures. I do know that that is a side effect of exosomes and stem cells. Um, I was told that by, um, by one of the doctors that I had a consultation with at a clinic in Mexico, um, he did tell me that that was a side effect, um, having, um, like fevers and that kind of thing. But I assumed that it was like right after the, um, right after the infusion. So like the days that I went and had them done. I, I thought that that would be the day that I would have an elevated temperature. I didn't expect it to be like two weeks out. Um, so I don't know if, if that's what he meant or, um, or even months, you know, post exosomes. Uh, there are some people that say that stem cells and exosomes can reactivate, um, certain viruses. So maybe that could cause an elevation in temperature. Um, I know there was another girl in the exosomes, um, the exosomes experiences group on Facebook, that reported that she had um, a uh, like a recurrent pelvic infection. So um, there were people that were reporting that exosomes can suppress your immune function, and then that's why you have these recurrent infections. And of course, infection could cause a fever. So I don't feel I don't think I have any infection um, or any active infection right now that I can feel. Um, I do get recurrent infections and that I've had even while I was on IVIG, but I never had any fever associated with that. So that might be something to note um, and just to keep in mind. But as far as the suppression of immune system or anything like that, I have not heard of any of that from my own doctors or even from the consults that I've had. So, you know, I don't know what it is, but I do, I was told that a fever could be a possible side effect of exosomes. So I don't know, maybe that's you know, possibly what it is. But anyways, I just wanted to add that because I thought that it was pretty significant um, just to note that. And I'm very dumb because I did not add it to my list. So anyways, 